You know, this planet in bits is pretty weird. <laughs> Are you just realizing this now? No, but I mean, having self-standing bits gravitating around a larger core would make sense. It could be a sign of a young planet still in formation. But why would the apiary try to colonize such a jumble? From a logistical standpoint, it makes no sense. That's true. They must have had a very good reason. Unless... What? Unless Source wasn't in this condition when they arrived. What? What do you mean? Did the apiary cause this to happen? I didn't say that, but it's a possibility. If we keep on exploring, we should know more. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. place. This one doesn't look very good. Let's not judge based on appearances. like the birds already had a crack at it. As long as they're leaving some for us. Swallowed a bug. <laughs> this one looks suspicious. Requesting permission to sample? Granted. A 
another tremor. It's as if Source were still breaking into fragments. Uh, if only it would stop fragmenting beneath our feet. really lay its butt right in the middle of a flow bridge? Come on! Psh, get! Move your butt elsewhere! Alright, move along! Can't you see you're in the way? Oh. Alright, I'm gonna blue him up. <laughs> move over. I'll take care of it. We're gonna lift it gently and... Oops. <clears throat> this thing is so heavy! <laughs> I'm not joking. The species must have developed a hyper mass or something. Oh, for sure. How else could it defeat your hyper guns? Oh, please ease off the snide comments and help me out. One, two, three. Are you pushing? Nails done. Of course I'm pushing. Okay. I don't think this is gonna work. Looks like this guy likes flow so much that he can't take his butt off the spring. So selfish. Are you okay? 
Enjoying the view? Definitely. All set? Now! Let's get it over with. And done. That chill. I don't even think he felt that. They're up to something. Done and done. One to go. Woo! Ah, there it is. At last. Booyah! Got it. Oh. Ooh, that looks bad. Right for the picking. Harvest time. Your turn. I'm on it. Now shoot. Who's next? Just trying to take a closer look at you. Oh no, poor guy. <laughs>
you see the size of this building? Yeah, it looks like an assembly shop. There were some like that on Truth. Well, in a little better shape, I guess. This one doesn't look very nice. That's unfortunate. Because he's right in the middle of the road. should charge up our shield. Target left. We may need to change our strategy. Not this time. Go, go, go! It's useless. Let's try something else. We shouldn't both be blocking. I'll take the hits. You can attack back. Oh, did I miss? Don't think so. I'll check. Oh. Don't give you! Hey, come on! Keep going! You're out of sync. We need to work on our timing. I'll cover, you attack. Dig it! Bam! Oh, come on! Oh, did I miss? Don't think so. <sighs> on your mark? Hold on. Remind me who's covering and who's attacking. Are you blocking or am I? Because if neither of us does, this will hurt. Oh no, you Oh, Blute! This one's mine. Perfect! Take that! We're out of sync. We need to work on our timing. I'll cover, you attack. Dig it! You didn't miss much. Shield. Shield. No, wait. I'm the one blocking. You start loading and attack as soon as he gets weak. Oh, no. You need a little help here. Eat that. Hey, come on. Keep going. Watch out. Dodge this one. Loot. Shielding! Perfect! Take cover! You rock! Hey! Come on! Keep going! On your feet! What happened? Watch out. Looks like he's about to attack. I can't take much more of this. He's ready. Pacifying time. You know what to do. I'm on. Good teamwork. As usual. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. We're getting good at this. Definitely. There, there. Seems like they weren't worried about thieves. Why do you say that? The door. It has an auto-open device. You know, like, it opens when you get near it. Doesn't look like it's opening. Of course. The system probably ran out of flow a long time ago. If that's all there is, it shouldn't be an issue. Move over.
How did you do that? I figured out a trick. Remember when I upgraded the gloves with the Draca's mapping chip? Actually, it turned out that I shorted the redundancy in the safety system. Anyway, if I try to flush the flow, it does this. You can try it. I'm sure it'll work on yours too. Uh... Wow! Alright, why not check inside? Wow! Just look at these machines. This isn't a workshop at all. It's a museum. Or just a very old workshop. True. Uh, I was hoping we could pilfer some parts to fix up the nest, but that just went right out the window. All these machines are at least a thousand years old. I'd say more like 50. Same thing. None of this will be compatible. Hmm. I'm not sure about the nest, but I should be able to make this extender nozzle work. Glute, how old are you exactly? <laughs> Very funny. It's just that my engineering school was a bit slow to update its tech. I'll admit, I never thought I'd get to use that knowledge. We'll take the extender nozzle then? Might as well be useful to someone. so sly. That's some good growing. This one has a hilarious shape. <laughs> For real. Shooting tailed. Hit him with a flow burst. just that easily.
not giving up. Binging on flow. This feels familiar. Do you think it would enjoy a flow burst? Doesn't hurt to try. Ah! He moved! Maybe with a little more flow. There we go. Hey, guy. You could have just told us that you needed flow. Come on. Go put your butt elsewhere. Anything that seems salvageable for the nest, just scream, okay? Should open. This place is totally empty. Maybe beneath the furniture? So, did you find anything? Ugh, a slate, a broken stencil, candy wrappers, and a capless marker. You? No better. A snack bag, plastic figurines, round tip scissors, and two capless markers. I'm wondering which planet is hiding all the marker caps. Let me see those figurines. Oh, <gasps> this is Muffin and Cupcake. Do you watch that stuff? Mm. A children's cartoon about a baker's apprentice with magical powers? Okay, first of all, they're not bakers, they're pastry chefs. And also, Muffin and Cupcake is a cartoon about friendship above all. And it approaches its subject matter with great maturity and sincerity which can be appreciated at any age. So, are you Team Muffin or Team Cupcake? <laughs> That's a stupid question. I don't need to identify with any particular character in order to appreciate a good series. All right, Cupcake. Cupcake all the way. Fly 
flying beast over there. Impressive. He doesn't seem to care about us. Gotta say, I'm glad he doesn't. A little more rust? Don't mind if I do. something. Huh. I don't know this drone. Do you think that they developed a new kind especially to explore Source? Are you joking? It's a pallet jack. A what? Haven't you ever set foot in a warehouse? What would I do in a warehouse? I'm not even sure there are warehouses on top. Of course there are warehouses. Where do you think they store their... stuff? In a stuff box? Come on, let's get this hydraulic cylinder back to the nest instead of blathering. What are you gonna use it for? We'll see. Hydraulics are always useful. If you say so. Okay, a little bit of rust here and there, and that should be good. Great oaks from little acorns grow. What are you doing? Nothing. Just routine maintenance. The nest hasn't flown in a while. Does it really need maintenance? It requires maintenance precisely because it's not flying. That way, when it's ready to take off, it'll be fully operational. Are you gonna be a while? Why do you ask? I don't know. I was thinking that we might also need a little maintenance of our own. Am I supposed to believe that seeing my hands full of gunk is turning you on? Certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, but let me set some ground rules. No gear-based puns, whether it's about nozzles, cylinders, or pistons. Flange gaskets? Surprise me. All right, this works. Awesome. Could you build a gyro stabilizer for the nest? Uh, I can only make kind of simple things, like flow capsules. Hold on, let me show you. Just take a bit of rust and...
And here it is, a brand new capsule. Just need to activate it during combat in order to use it. Oh, so no gyro stabilizer then? Uh, sorry. No, no need to be sorry. No worries. This is good. I mean, this is great. Really great. Uh, if you could just explain to me what the flow capsules do when you get a chance. Because I miss that part. That's a whole lot better than Kinovision, isn't it? You're right, but I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Mm, pass me the bottle and set it talking Blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, oh, Blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship, the meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? Because you asked me to. What? Did I say something wrong? No, no. Hmm. Is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Hmm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Honestly? No. I did have friends and colleagues. When we left the apiary, at first, I thought I would miss them. I thought that after a while, I would feel a void. I need to see them again. But that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky to have you. Asking for more would seem egotistical or ungrateful. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I should be telling you these things, or else you'll end up realizing that I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? I don't know. A little bit? <sighs> I find that comforting. Because I'm thinking that too, all the time. <laughs> that I don't deserve you? No, idiot. That I don't deserve you. Would you look at us, not deserving one another? You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. Up all night doing experiments again? I hope you're not developing a habit. A habit of scientific experimentation? No, that would be a shame. <sighs> okay. Okay, what have you found out this time? Well, I was wondering, if flow can be condensed to produce this rust, maybe we could achieve the opposite reaction and sublimate the rust to restore flow to its fluctuating state. Useful flow, in short.
Oh yeah, that could definitely come in handy. So? Well, nope. We can't. The amount of energy that is necessary to pass from one state to the other is gigantic. Much larger than what the flow could provide. Ah, oh, some. That's how science progresses you. Well, if you'll excuse me, I will achieve scientific progress in the bathroom. May the best of us win.